Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to the base formerly known as the Pirate Base, now known as Treasure Island. I'm Wellington6012, how are you all doing? Hope everybody's all good out there, I'm fantastic today. Of course last time I had a bit of a struggle to get in here, but now I am. It's just full of loot. So much loot I don't know what to do with it. So here is the plan for today. I'm going to use some of the salvage from here to make a med bay on top of the beast. And then I'm going to head off in the general direction of that trading post. Leave most of the stuff here, so that'll be a task for some other day to return here and retrieve all the loot. Okay, so let's get into it. Alrighty then, future Wellington 6012 here. I've completed the med bay, pretty happy with how it's come out. And yeah, it took a while though. Had to chop and change things and fit things in a few times. I'm now just eyeing up the sort of the, the raw footage and wondering how on earth I'm going to edit it. So I think in the interest of keeping this episode under two hours long, I will do one of my sped up montage things and give you a grand tour when I'm done. So I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes. Enjoy. Right, so future Wellington is now present Wellington. Here we are up on top in an absolutely miserable night. It's just been piffing it down all night. But anyway, let's get inside. Uh, just quickly got a turret up here. We'll put more up there. Moved them about three or four times. Nice little sort of outdoor patio area there. Good little spot to grow some herbs. And inside, so got doors now able to keep down here nice and toasty warm and got access down here I really am happy with how I've managed to fit in stairs and an access so that's awesome up into the med bay nice and modern uh, we'll just pop through out here this is where the sort of command center will go and up there's the bridge of course might have to see about closing that in to get this weather out we can close those doors and now we're all tucked in nice and safely in here just have a bit of a top up while I'm here does the job nice and quick these uh, medical stations so glad I'm able to get one of those in it's just been such a bonus to get that stuff out of that 
pirate base. Nice little view out the back. And we've got the scanner here, which I don't think actually does anything. Uh, no. Just there to look good. Some lockers to store some gear, nice little desk for me to work on, and I've got my lab over here as well. Got the plumbing up there. So, yeah, really happy with how it's come out. Uh, speaking of the plumbing, just out here, I'll show you this. So I've plumbed it up that way, I've got that sort of valve in there. And what that means is that anything past there, I can not only suck out components, but when I dump them, they will get sucked away into the storage. So, just to give you an example, if I chuck some stuff in here. Oh, I wish I didn't actually have anything. Hang on. Just put some steel in my inventory will do. Try that again. Okay, so now I go in here. Just put some steel in. And that sorter will just whip it away. So that's real cool. Okay, so on with the rest of the day. Uh, I think before I get going, I will put some windows... I'm not going to complete the bridge, but just make a start on it. Put some windows while I'm here, because I can just salvage them out of the pirate base. They are quite resource intensive, so probably best doing that while I'm here. And I can just uh, salvage the parts. Oh, this is not that inviting up here at night time in the dark and with everything turned off. It's quite spooky. Mm. Um, mm. Anyway, uh, best I get a load of this and get back to my, my safe little uh, bedroom, I think. Inventory. Full. Yeah, see, I only crammed down a couple of those and my inventory's already full. Let's chuck a bit of stuff in here. There's all those girders and glass panels that make it a bit heavy. Right. Uh, trying not to crash on the way back. Actually, I think this is just too miserable. I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed and get up in the morning when hopefully the sun's up and this rain is cleared because I'm just sick of working in it. It's been going all night long. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning everybody. Well, that's a bit of a difference in weather. Nice fine skies. As you may have guessed, I have turned the weather on. And I do enjoy it. <laughs> it it's, makes a nice change to um, the game. But yeah it just was getting on my nerves a bit last night so what i'm going to do before we head off is just quickly put some windows in and also put some turrets on top of the beast just so i've got a bit of protection in case i come across any other bases okay so toolbars all loaded up with the glass panels now windows are something that i do struggle with it's just they're never the right shape you can never fit them into the right spot. You turn them constantly to get them facing the right way. I mean, I did figure out pretty early on that you want the shade a bit outside, but I did previously try and set up a spaceship which was meant to be airtight, and the windows just made it absolutely impossible. Problem is, some I think some of them are on the outside and some are on the inside. So, for instance, this triangle that I've just laid here and I'll do one on the other side is kind of on the outside of the block whereas this angle panel is on the inside of the block so it's just yeah real frustrating but anyway I'll continue on hopefully this looks all right when I'm done I yeah do struggle quite a bit with getting the aesthetics right when using windows they can be tr quite tricky as I say the angles are just wrong but we really need to take advantage of being here by that pirate base because it's got so many windows in it and they are quite resource heavy you know I only need to grind down like three or four in the inventory full, so may as well use it while I'm here now these top ones just again 
I think they're on the outside. Can't sort of lay them as an interior type window because that control seat is taking up the the room. So they're gonna have to be on the outside. So I have to do a bit of roof structure. And these side ones just are quite tricky to get the welder just in the right spot. It's just hard to line up. They out of out of bits already. That was hardly anything. Okay, I'll just work on this roof structure a bit because I'm going to need that to put in the glass panels, the roof glass panels. That is. Uh, I'll just plug this gap while I'm here too. I originally was going to put the stairs there, but I just yeah, I'm not really happy with that. I've got a different plan of what to do about the stairs, so I'll come back to that. Now the roof and the gatling, I just need to get the spacing right. They're quite a large footprint, these gatling guns. It's a little bit annoying actually, but I think I'll fit two up there. So, put one conveyor block up there as a foundation, and then there should be room in between that and the rear one. raise them up whoops didn't mean to do that I sort of use those three quarter blocks for want of a better word to sort of raise them up above these half blocks just protect those connectors a little bit I could use the heavy armor as well but I just don't think the beast is gonna see that much action it's just a bit of self-defense it's not for offensive I can put that conveyor back on the front now. And then hopefully this sort of lines up with the top of the window. Now I have to go with the slope. So, yeah, the window should attach to the side of that half slope there. That'll work. Alright, I'll fill the rest of this out. Do the same on the other side. And chuck these uh, turrets on the top. And remember to turn them off before I build them so I don't shoot up the pirate base again. Now I did consider whether I put all Gatlings on top or whether I put one missile launcher up there. Because of course I've obtained some uh, missiles now which I really wasn't expecting to have at this sort of phase of the game but you need platinum for the missiles so yeah I have to get that from space and that's sort of quite some time away I think previous builds I have had a missile launcher sort of one on top of my vehicle I mean it gave me extra power if I needed it anything nasty came away but more so as a sort of periscope or range finder type thing uh, so I could use the zoom on the camera. So speaking of the loot, need to really have a good think about what I'm going to do in regards to the pirate base. Uh, I've already sort of said before I can't fit everything in the beast. I'm just thinking that maybe I was going to come back. Uh, I, I don't know. I, it's just it. I was really taken a taken aback when I opened up that cargo container and just all the loot that was in there. Plus all the other stuff like those assemblers and, and whatnot. So I'm going to need a pretty big vessel to ship this stuff. Or the other thing I was thinking was maybe I have a smaller vessel that I come back at some later stage once my main base is established, grind the thing down. And I've got a few ideas on how to do that. But essentially grind the whole thing into a container and then just use like a drone or something to go back and forth. So yeah, got it's got potential okay so I've done a few trips back and forth now using the components out of the pirate base to finish off the glass roof of the flight deck and just plumbing up this Gatling gun and then I'll do the one in the medbay as well 
seem to be a little bit short of the construction components and the interior plates so I'm just raiding the uh, large container up at the pirate base and also if I need any steel I'm grabbing that out of the supports what's that uh, oh it's the mark 2.1 missile oh the secret to my success it survived well survived as a relative term ah oh, that's cool I might have to keep that I wonder if I can take it away somehow that should be a shrine anyway back to the uh, yeah so grabbing the components out of here also just carrying back a few bits and pieces as well mainly focusing on the missiles since that's the only thing I can't really manufacture at the moment Okay, so that is the middle Gatling gun now plumbed in, out of the medical bay. Just had to slightly change things there, nothing too major. I'll work on this command centre type area another time and finish off the flight deck. But I think we really need to get on the road. That's uh, not coming out too bad. I just do need to sort out the colour scheme. I'll just paint these uh, Gatling guns green camo, because that really hides them amongst the white background. <laughs> Yeah, definitely need to look at the colour scheme. But yeah, that's uh, not looking too bad. Just take one last trip up to the pirate base. Look to lock it down as much as I can, given the circumstances. Let's get one last load of missiles out of the container. There they are. I don't know why I didn't just get rid of those chairs to start with. Every time I've come up here, I've popped into them. Uh, I'll make a GPS location, just so I know where it is. I don't think I'll lose it, but also just a bit of reference. I'll call it Treasure Island because it just has been an absolute fountain of components. It's just been awesome. Uh, that doesn't fit in, so just so there is a limit to how long the names can be in the GPS and I'll just make it uh, no I won't make it red because I don't think it's an active station make it green so just a bit of reference for how far I'm going same as the uh, base camp one that's uh, 20k so yeah just now that I think about it something I might do before I take off just to make sure it is sort of in a usable state I'll put some power in ready for my eventual return there'll be plenty of time so I think I'll just chuck in some batteries and solar panels and they can just tick away while I'm away so as you can see those are all installed now and charging away they'll probably take a day or two but I have no intentions of coming back that soon but when I do come back they should all be nice and full ready to use so there's nothing really holding us back. It's a nice day. Get some tunes on and let's get this show on the road. Just have to do a bit of a three point turn first. Make sure I don't back into anything. I really want to stop before we even start. Yeah, that should be enough. Hopefully I'll miss that tree. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so, a little bit close, it's only a tree, doesn't hurt anybody. So I'll head down this valley, and where we're going is pretty much straight ahead. Uh, that highest point, just on the left there, ideally I'd like to get to the top of there by the end of the episode. Uh, there is that track sort of up that ramp that I spotted using the Mark II missile. It just looks a bit dicey at the top though. When I say it looks a bit dicey, it looks a lot dicey. Anyway, it is quite a way, it's about 10k's. So probably the best thing to do is uh, crank the tunes up and speed over this uh, relatively open plateau.
Okay, made it through the meadows with no problems. I'm ready to hit this hill. Just want to do a couple of quick settings to the beast. Uh, set up a group for the turrets. Put it on the toolbar. Forgot to do that earlier, so I can just turn them on in a hurry if I need to. Let's leave them off for now. I don't think there's anything around here. The back wheels. Just going to set a separate group up for those. Because I may need to adjust them separately. I think we'll just give them a bit of extra friction to try and grip on getting up this hill. I'll just up to 40, that'll do. And yeah, I think uh, we're all set, so here we go. First decision is whether I go up the sort of gully or whether I stick to the top of the spur. I think I'll stick to the top of the spur. I just got this funny feeling uh, recalling when I was in the missile flying overhead that the top of the the gully sort of was a bit rocky similar to that one out at the back of the pirate base that also narrowed up quite substantially before it sort of climbed up so we'll see how we go we can always uh, come back down this is not too bad through here and the beast is handling it pretty well Seems to be enough friction to give me the grip that I need. It's, uh, it's starting to get a bit steeper though. It's sort of the ruts that I'm most worried about. There are a few up there, but I think I'll scoot around the base underneath those. So if we just sort of get around this outcrop, I think we should be right. It won't be too bad, but I'll we'll just take it slowly. And it started drizzling. Good thing that the uh, weather in this game doesn't actually wet the grass or anything like that. That would be an interesting dynamic if it made the grass wet and lost all that traction. Um, mm, I don't think I'll be getting around that rocky outcrop. Okay, so I think I should be able to get down into that gully. Uh, just shooting off the side here. It does look a little steep, but I think the beast can handle it. It's a similar sort of slope to coming up. It's just really those ruts that I'm worried about. They don't seem to appear until I'm like right on top of them. Even though it looks flat, it might not be. It's kind of how the, uh, the voxels render in. Yeah, see those ones on my left are actually quite deep and it was only just when I was right on top of them that they actually appeared. But it's not going too bad, I'm just taking it very gently, gently. On the brakes all the time. When I get onto the green stuff I don't think it has the ruts in it, so I'm a little more uh, free and easy. It's still quite lumpy through here though, so I do need to be careful. Yeah. The beast just doesn't like those ruts. I remember when I tried to get up on that plateau earlier just by the pirate base and it hit those ruts and it just stopped. This is a nice little patch from here though. If uh, I didn't have sort of other ideas of where I wanted to put my base, it might be quite a good place right here. Just with all the all the ores in one spot. There's cobalt and iron and gold and all sorts in close proximity. Keep pushing on. So I guess the spur was the wrong option because we're, we're up the gully so my concerns about the top at narrowing are coming to fruition because we are here. Now it doesn't look too bad over to the left there but it's quite rutty. Just see what it's like here. Uh, it's a bit rutty there but uh, it's not too bad just in between those two rock patches. I think I might be able to get up there. I'll give it a nudge, because if I can get up on that step, I think I'll be pretty right. Oh, now see those ruts just, the, the voxels just rendered right in front of me. And I'm just, it's like I've hit a wall. Okay, I think we'll um, try around to the left there. Because that ain't happening. Still, it's going pretty well actually because the the beast is quite rigid and quite long. It's not a small vehicle. It's like just uh, 
gently use a tree to stop. Um, yeah, it's not handling too bad. I guess having 10 will drive helps. Tight turn here, and I don't want to fall in those ruts. I think I'll sneak past them. A little bit bumpy, but it's alright. Okay, so yeah, just off to the right there. It's all quite rutty here. But maybe... Yeah, it's not looking too bad just up through that, that bit there. We'll give it a give it a nudge. Oh, that's quite rutty though. I'll, I'll up the power and just take it slowly. I might have to up the friction as well actually and just crawl up. Getting there. Come on, you can do it. Come on, beastie. Alright. Uh, yeah, straight ahead's not looking too flash. It's looking a bit rushy up there. Nah, I'm not going to get up there. Damn. Okay. Um, oh, it's not too bad over there. I could sort of scoot round on the angle. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to go straight up, but I could go across it. Hopefully there's no ruts. I'll we'll just crawl up. Yeah, if I hit it on the sort of diagonal, might be a better angle for it. Oh, there are ruts there. But, uh, they seem to be sticking close to that rocky bit. Oh, it's quite stressful this. Come on, you can do it. Oh, something just blew up. Uh, that's probably the piston for the stairs. Oh, well, we can fix that. I did have that up, didn't I? Yeah, of course I did. Alright, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh. I'm still moving. Okay, no, it's not. Get a little bit of momentum up. Ready, go. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, more friction. <laughs> I think we'll just turn them all up to 100, eh? <laughs> Let's not muck about. <laughs> I want to get up there before nightfall. Gee, we, we've We've made a reasonable distance up. Come on, prep. Prep. Yeah, it's pulling out. It's pulling out. It's pulling out. Oh, yes. Okay. A few ruts there, but nothing too major. I think it, it seems to sort of smooth out a bit now. Whew. Okay, I think, famous last words, I think we're pretty good now. Okay, almost at the top. And, oh, that was an interesting noise, I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, you can do it. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, well done. Good old beastie. I'm suitably impressed by it, how it's performed. Oh, it's just another little bit. I thought this was the top. Okay, how can we get up there? I think we'll stick to this grassy bit. Okay. We're up quite high now. It'd be great if I can just get right to the summit and park up there for the night. Hopefully this sort of track leads me around because it's it's quite rushy. I don't know if I can just get up on that next step. Nah, it's not too bad there, but this looks a little bit flat around here. No, no it's not. It's worse. 
and that grassy bit just stops. Okay, uh, time for a three point turn. So that was more like an 11 point turn <laughs> and something that just dawned on me is that I could have raised the wheels so I wouldn't be sort of bellying out on some of these ruts. So I'll just very gently uh, raise it and I'll probably need to strengthen it up as well because it's still got the same strength from when I first built the thing and I've added a lot to it since then. So that's looking a bit better. So I'll give I'll give this bit a go. And if I hit it on the diagonal, I think I should be right. But otherwise, it, yeah, there were some ruts, but it might be a bit easier around the inside. And looks like we're going for three-wheel drive. Just lean, <laughs> lean over. Get more wheels on the ground. Actually, it seems to be when I turn that I lose the lose the traction on the front. Something to do with the uh, mechanics of the game. So I slow down when I turn, and then I straighten. And I come right, and start to move again. Wish I'd figured that out at the bottom. We're up. Oh, that was easy. Man, I wish I'd. Um, fix those wheels earlier but anyway uh, we're at the summit <laughs> yeah and just in time for the end of the episode so what I'll do is I'll find something nice and level to park on that was quite annoying when I was parked by the pirate base it didn't look it but I was actually on a bit of an angle there kept sliding over all the place tonight park on the level and uh, won't fall out of bed then Whew. made it <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the view. I mean, I've seen this from the missile, but actually, now that I'm up here, even though it's a computer game and it shouldn't make any difference, the view is just so much better <laughs> than flying in the missile. That's awesome. So there's the goal for tomorrow over that way. Actually that trading post is quite far away from up here, so maybe that's not tomorrow's goal. Maybe that's a goal for a day or two. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to drive over there. Well, uh, then again, you know, just a decent distance tonight. Alright, ending on a high. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Stay safe out there, eh?